Frozen CPU here, Max again, with my super high production value videos that I bring you guys. Man, is it crazy, all the stuff we got going on here, including uh, my synthetic laser sounds. Be -do 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 -do, frozen CPU. Anyway, so yes, um, just a regular guy here, uh, trying to give you a regular review of some straight up product that we have in stock to see if we can get you guys excited. Um, as excited as I am. Here for the sketchy brown box to show you a uh, new 240 kit we got in. This is for you guys on AMD, you uh, red lovers such as myself. On Threadripper, Access PC, one of my personal favorite staples in water cooling, brings you uh, this Raystorm uh, Photon D5 AX. And yes, that is an AX240 kit. Here's what you get. You get this box and literally inside is literally, uh, not to say literally, literally every five seconds, you get each piece individually picked and put into this box as if you bought each part individually. So you know that the components going in here are not like uh, more of a dumbed down kind of version of the legit components you'd buy if you bought each part individually. They're all in retail packaging inside the kit. So you are truly getting a bundle deal. This kit comes to you at $299.99 featuring the new um, Raystorm Neo, which is actually what I use on my own computer at home. So let's see what you get in there. Okay, fans, you're getting the classic uh, kind of mid-pressure XSPC fans. Uh, not the new RGB ones. Let's plug some of these in here. Okay, XS PC fans, not bad at all. Uh, these ones are three pin fans. And I can tell you, uh, they do push quite a bit of air. They are uh, pretty decent fans. Good static pressure, but they're not all static pressure. I feel like you could easily use these as a case fan as well if you wanted to. So in here, straight up, you're getting your, your water block. Dun dun dun! It's Intel. Nope, just kidding. That's the picture they use. If you look on the back, it's got the uh, AMD Threadripper block uh, checked. So you get the block. It is the RGB block. You can even see the little RGB controller in there. Going soft tubing. Uh, in terms of what brand soft tubing we have in here, I couldn't tell you. I know at one point XSPC was using Mayhem's tubing. This does not seem to be Mayhem's tubing. Um, not really sure what this is, but uh, anyway, not as important. Here's your little bag of goodies. Okay, we use an XSPC uh, V2 compression fittings, one of my personal favorites. I also use these on my own rig at home. They're giving you the uh, the power supply on-off tester thing in there, so you can uh, run your PSU to move your pump without having to unplug from your motherboard. Okay, here's your Photon 170. Beautiful res uh, radiator, reservoir. Wow, I just said radiator. It's a reservoir, guys. I believe it comes with a glass tube. And you are getting the AX240. You're not even getting the cheaper EX version from XSPC. Of course, full color manual. Okay, written in English. Shows you, uh, I think this probably has the Intel and the AMD set up for literally all of their stuff. Um, not written in broken English, like some of these brands do. Um, always appreciate a good instruction manual. Especially if you're buying an all-in-one kit. Probably means you haven't built a lot. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't necessarily mean you're a noob at it. But, hey, I wish when I was a noob I would have bought one of these kits. I would have saved a lot of money. All right. So here's a closer look at that AX series radiator. Here's one, an older one we have around the shop. The AX is the guy that comes with the nice uh, shroud, the aluminum shroud. And the fin density is actually the same as XSPC's EX red. However, this is a 21 millimeter thick core on the AX over the EX is 16 millimeter thick core. So you're getting a little more cooling, uh, cooling energy. The reservoir pump combo is a D5, so it's going to be very similar to what I have here on the table for you. Uh, of course, the bottom, this is a bits power bottom, so ignore that. Uh, that part will look a little bit different, but you'll get the same glass tube, and you'll have the version for mounting onto the radiator 
uh, where this one is more so for the case. Okay, there's actually one of your V2 fittings right there, and we got some, I think, Aurora in that one. Okay. So that's pretty much what this is going to look like. I will snap it open real quick, take a quick peek. Uh, it's not packaged up too much, and it is heavily packaged. Uh, this unit is going to go out to someone, so I, I don't want to completely tear apart their, uh, their stuff, but let's just cover that up there. I'm not too good at repacking stuff, but we are going to have a closer look at our CPU block. So, again, full color manual. Some guys don't read manuals. I don't know what the deal with that is. I read manuals. So here it is. This guy is a friggin' monster. There's your all copper cold plate. And uh, there's your actual block. I have a standard amp for uh, Neo block at home, and I take mine apart between every build. It's four, actually this one, sorry, this one is six screws. Mine at home is four screws. Extremely easy to take apart. Uh, the fins in there are not super dense, but they're not so thin that you can't brush them out to clean them. Super easy to clean. Um, just a, really a pleasant block to uh, use and maintain. And of course, the RGBs go in on the side of the block. There are little slits right there. And here's what RGB stuff looks like. So, it is a SATA connection. Let's go ahead and crack that open, take a look at that. Because the RGBs are actually of fairly decent quality on these. So it's going to be using these little 4-pin RGBs. Um, so you got the male to male. You're gonna stick that on there. All right. Now you can go to the actual LED itself, which is here. Believe it or not, that's your entire RGB right there. That goes uh, right into your block. And make sure you, of course, line up the arrows. Uh, not sure that you'll really damage anything if you don't. That little piece is gonna go right into your block, and you can. Oh, that is bright. Okay, you get it. It's RGB. We all know how it works. So yeah, you're going to get two of those. They're each going to go into the side of the block. Uh, if you're using something like a UV green coolant, putting the blue RGB will really kind of make that glow and pop. Second one. Alright, as always, you got to get the XSPC K3. You really like this thermal paste. It's easy to spread, but isn't watery. Uh, your mounting hardware, really a very nice looking block, um, especially the dark nickel, can't say enough about that, AX radiator, uh, love that, man, XSPC always has good fit and finish, their fins are rarely ever dented or bent, so yeah, um, this kit is $300 at Frozen CPU, available right now, definitely got the, um, the, uh, the Threadripper, probably got some Intel versions. You can probably also buy the standard AM4 kits. Um, only here at Frozen CPU. Just kidding, you can get it elsewhere, but why? Why? Why get it somewhere else when you can get it right here at Frozen CPU from me? All right, so this has been Max. This has been Frozen CPU. Been a pleasure taking up your time. And uh, give us a call here at Frozen CPU, www.frozencpu.com. Call and ask for Trevor, ask for Max, ask for Matt. And uh, we'll get you going, man. All right? So, uh, guys and gals, have a great day. See ya.